Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Fernbus Simulator. So, this is going to be going into the beginner's video realm again. Um, I feel like there was some things I missed in my, my video, and I apologize for that. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the bus. We're going to be taking a look at the cross-menu functions, and we're going to be taking a look at how to get the cruise control and the retarder working when you're on the road. So, first of all, guys, here's our bus. Right? There's our front door. And then we have our luggage compartments here. We have one on this side for this bus. And then on the other side, we have three doors. We have one, two, and three. So you open those up to let the passengers put their luggage on your bus, obviously. So we're gonna get these closed, and then we're gonna hop in the bus, and we're gonna go over all of the controls that are on the cross menu and we're also going to take a look at your FOV settings and stuff like that so now that we're in the bus we got our butt in the seat we're going to press the triangle so now with the triangle press and we press L2 we get our left mirror if we press R2 we get our right mirror overlay press those again and we can take those off if we press the circle we're going to get our, our top general information that's going to tell us our speed what time it is, um, where we're going, and what time we should arrive. And then if we press square, we get our navigation overlay up on the screen. And if you press X, then you can control your seat. So you have to select these. As you can see, it's kind of like a, a green square around them. So right now this is highlighted. So L2 and R2, you can raise or lower your seat. L1, R1, you can move the seat forward and backward. This is your FOV. I, I do like to pull it back quite far because I don't like to have the mirror overlays up so I can see both mirrors. Now, I do realize some people don't like this kind of FOV, so you can set it however you like. Um, actually, I don't like that. There we go. I like to be set a little lower. And then here that's all fine this is where you can kind of where you aim i like to be looking up nice and high like that i don't want to be looking down towards the steering wheel or anything like that and then you can kind of turn your guy left or right and this one here it's usually set like right in the middle but as you can see it, you're like off center to the wheel i don't like that i like to be right center with the wheel so i set it right about there so those are all your seat and fov settings and your navigation and uh, all good stuff like that. So let's get into the cross menu. If you press and hold the X button on your PS5 controller, you have your ignition. All right, beautiful. Then over here, you have your gear. You have your light controls. You can turn on your parking lights, your low beams, fog lights, and rear fog lights. Then you have your high beams. You have your indicator lights, which I'm not really understanding why you would use the cross menu for those when those are mapped to the L1 and R2 buttons. You do have a hazard light. You have your parking brake, your windshield wipers, your, pass your driver's side window, <laughs> your windshield wipers, your driver's light, which you can see the light kind of turn on and turn off there. Your horn, which again, this is assigned to the L3 button, so no reason to use that. This is your retarder. We'll talk about this a little later in the video. Then you have your cruise control, which again, we'll talk about that a little later on. Then you have your air conditioning and your temperature for the AC, which I have found that 21 Celsius seems to be the sweet spot. And of course, you can't turn any of this stuff on without the bus being on. Now, if you press and hold the square button, you'll hear a dog barking in the background. <laughs> no, so here we have the front door, the rear door. You can raise or lower the bus. You can raise the front of the bus, and you can raise the rear of the bus. So this is your kitchen, your Wi-Fi, your bathroom clearance. This is your passenger monitors. These two, these will lock your, your, uh, your luggage hatches. This is your display. This is your announcement. This here is the navigation monitor. So basically, um, if you don't want it on twice, because like you can see, I have the GPS overlay on, you can shut that off and then it won't be on the, uh, the bus's dashboard. 
you have the reading lights and you have the passion lights. Now, if you're on the Man's Lion Inner City buses, I don't, you don't have the reading light. You have the stop break function, um, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get the bus started. We're going to head out on the road, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the, the cruise control and the retarder while you're on the road. Alright guys, so we are on the highway, and I had the traffic density turned down to zero, so we don't need to worry about that. So if you want to set your cruise control, you're going to press and hold X, scroll all the way over to here, press up, and let go of your accelerator. And now, your cruise control is set. As you can see, we are maintaining our speed here. We don't have any worries at all. And if you want to trigger your retarder, let's just shut that off. And again, press and hold X, scroll on over, and let go of your accelerator and turn on the retarder. And as you can see, now we're using our engine brake to slow us down. And we can stop it whenever we want. So we're going to do this one more time. Let's get back up to a speed. 80 should be sufficient for this road. So let's go all the way over, press up, and let go of our accelerator. And now we have cruise control engaged. As you can see, we're going 80 kilometers an hour. We're not slowing down. We're not speeding up. So that is how you set your cruise control, guys. And again, for the retarder, I don't know if I can turn the retarder on with the cruise control on. Yeah, you can. And as you can see now, we are slowing down pretty fast. So guys, that's everything. That is everything to do with the, the cross menu. That's everything to do with how to adjust your seat in your FOV. That's how to engage the cruise control while you're driving and how to engage the retarder while you're driving. Now, we do have mouse and keyboard support coming uh, soonish, I, I hope. Um, that'll make things a lot easier for those of us that have a mouse and keyboard because then you'll be able to select all these things right on the fly and you won't have to worry about using that cross menu at all. So I hope this helped you guys. And again, if there's anything else that you can think of that you may need help with, just let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to, to make a video for you guys explaining anything further. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. So I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to tag the little bell. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.